This is Dr. Joseph, and today I want to discuss a very common injury, uh, the wrist sprain. A wrist sprain is basically a ligament injury. So in our world, if patients use the word, uh, I hurt my wrist or I tweaked it, it's often a ligament scenario. And ligament injuries are called sprains versus a muscle injury is called a strain. So in general, if you hear someone sprained their knee or sprained their wrist, it's a ligament injury. Most ligament injuries and most ligament sprains in the wrist are treated very easily with just a brace, time, anti-inflammatories. There are a couple of different ligaments that are much more serious and those are the ones that we're on the lookout for. One common one, the most common significant wrist sprain ligament injury is called the scapholuminate ligament injury. And the way to see if you're at risk for a scapholuminate ligament is you find this bone, the third finger, the long finger, and you follow that metacarpal, meaning that bone down, and right where it gets soft right there, if you press on yourself and that creates a lot of pain, then sometimes you could have a scapholuminate ligament injury. And the reason this is significant is because this ligament that lives between these two bones is very important in the function of your wrist. And when patients have a really bad sprain and it doesn't get any better and it continues to swell and hurt despite use, then often they'll have a scapholuminate ligament injury. Those are completed or treated totally different than a regular ligament sprain injury. So if you've got a ligament sprain or a wrist sprain and it keeps on persistently going for more than about three or four weeks, then it's probably worth an x-ray to make sure and an exam to make sure that you don't have one of these scapholunate ligament sprains. Come see me in clinic if you've got a wrist problem that keeps on going.